Shalom, everyone, and welcome to today's scripture with the Yavajin. And today's scripture comes from the book of Ephesians, chapter 5, verses 6 through 8, and it reads as follows. Let no man deceive you with vain words, for because of these things comes the wrath of Yah upon the children of disobedience. Be not ye therefore partakers with them, for ye were in time past darkness, but now are ye light in Yahuwah. Walk as children of light. It starts off saying, let no man deceive you with vain words. That is something that we have to be very spiritually aware of, that we don't get caught up in deception. I know for me, there were times in my life, you know, spiritually that I was being deceived by vain words and I didn't realize it. I didn't know it. I didn't know that I was being manipulated and controlled by what was being taught to me um, at that time. And if you're not careful, as you're walking in that deception, the wrath of Yah can end up taking place in your life because you can end up walking in disobedience and you're, you don't even realize it. Okay. And then there are people who know that they are deceiving the people that they are teaching and preaching to. Okay. They know it. And Eventually, if it hasn't already happened already, the wrath of Yah is going to come upon them because they're speaking those vain words to other people, causing them to walk in disobedience. So it's two sides to, the, to this thing. You got to remember not to let someone deceive you, you know, with vain words because you don't want the wrath of Yah to come upon you because you're walking in disobedience and you don't want to be that person who is, you know, deceiving people with vain words because you're walking in disobedience from that standpoint. OK, don't think that you're not going to escape the wrath of Yah. OK, by deceiving people with vain words or allowing someone to deceive you with vain words. We've got to have a, a spirit of discernment. Okay, so that's very, very important. Be careful who and what you listen to. Make sure that you're being obedient to the voice of the Most High Yah. Make sure that you're following the spirit of Yah. As you continue to move forward in your relationship with the Most High Yah. It says, be not ye therefore partakers with them. Okay, you do not want to be in the same category and doing the same things and saying the same things and living the same way as the children of disobedience. You've got to be very, very careful that you don't fall in the same category as them, okay? You do not want to live like the children of disobedience. Your lifestyle, the way that you walk, you know, your mindset, your perspective, the way that you live should not be like the children of disobedience, okay? They, you should not have the same lifestyle of, as them. When people look at your life, they should not see the same things happening in your life that they see in the lives of the children of disobedience. Okay, and too much of that is going on. People are professing to be, you know, a, a child of the Most High Yah, and they're partaking in the same things as the children of disobedience. There's no difference at all. Okay. Be not ye therefore partakers with them. You know, you need to come out of the, the sinful disobedient lifestyle. You know, you cannot live like that. And it goes on to say, for ye were in time past 
darkness. Okay? Living in darkness, living a dark lifestyle, living a sinful, wicked lifestyle full of iniquity, that should be in your past. That should not be in your present. You shouldn't be living like that now. Okay? He is saying that was in the past. But it says, but now are ye light in Yahuwah. Okay, if we are in Yahuwah, we should be walking as children of light. Okay, we shouldn't be walking in darkness like we did in the past. If you are professing to be a child of Yahuwah, then you should be walking as children of light. People should be seeing um, Yahuwah and his attributes shining through your life. They should see the scriptures come to life in your life. Your life should be lining up with the commandments of Yah. It should be lining up with the Torah. So once again, we've got to continue to take spiritual inventory of our lives. Get out that spiritual checklist today and look. We need to look at our lives and see where we fall. What is our mindset? How are we thinking? What are we saying out of our mouths? How are we dressing? You know, how do we carry ourselves in, when we're at home with our families, when we go to work? with our neighbors, out in our communities, wherever we are, whatever we do, whoever we come in contact with, do people see us as a child of disobedience or do they see us as a child of light in Yahuwah? Okay, think about that today as you go throughout your day. Meditate on this passage of scripture. You know, pray and ask the Most High Yah, to show you and to teach you what he wants you to know and what spiritual and natural adjustments that you need to make in your life to make sure that you are not living like a child of disobedience, but that you are walking as a children of light today. As you go throughout this day, remember to keep the Most High Yah first in every single area of your life. Love him Praise him, worship him, bless his set apart name, give him the hallelujah praise today. Have a blessed day, everyone. And with that, I will leave you with Shalom.